Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And listen, friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to Malachi. Malachi chapter number 4. And let's look at verse 2 as our text verse of Scripture. Now notice what the Bible says here. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wounds, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And friends, I certainly pray that God would add his great blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word on this beautiful day. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Today, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, The Light of Your World. You know, beloved, it is in your woundedness that you may feel the deepest darkness, the deepest despair, and the deepest confusion. After all, you wouldn't hurt yourself or others on purpose, nor would you allow them to injure you. But it's often the hidden places of our hearts that drive us in the wrong direction. Thankfully, you are reminded of the reason Jesus came, to illuminate the darkness of sin and to heal you of its provision. Friend, he doesn't merely show you your failings. He's kind enough to reveal what fears, what pains, and what destructive thought patterns are causing you to commit. How does Jesus do so? Through the work of his Holy Spirit and the testimony of his word. My friend, the Savior sheds light on the bondage that is causing our brokenness. So invite Jesus to shine his light into the profound recesses of your heart. And thank God for the great liberating gift of his radiance. He is truly the light of this world. My friend, it'll mend your deepest wounds and he'll help you experience his glorious freedom. Jesus is truly the light of our world. Think about this and now let's pray together. Lord, Thank you for shining your healing light into our hearts. We are so grateful for your amazing love, your amazing salvation, and your amazing light. Thank you for being the light of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. 
Well, friends, I pray the devotion was a blessing to you today. And if it was, you bless someone else by sharing it with them, remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see the light of Jesus shine through you. God bless you. Thank you for taking the time to tune in and have a wonderful day.